James Workman. I'm Miss Gallagher, your librarian extraordinaire. And today we're going to do another potion. I'm really excited. I know we've been doing a few potions lately, but I'm trying to decorate my front window. So getting you ready to come back to school, hopefully very soon. And so I thought we'd make this one today, which is Luna Love Good Potion. And you can see her Spectra Specs there. So this is the Spectra Specs Potion. And as you can see, I found this wonderful little charm. I didn't have another one for my second bottle that we're going to do together, so I kind of made my own up. And um, I'm really excited. Let's get going. All right, we're ready to go. Today, you are going to need a bottle. It doesn't have to be this exact bottle. It can be any bottle you like. You will need a Spectra Spec label. I will put this below. You will need some beads. And I found some pearls and some pink beads that I found in the dollar store. I found all of this in the dollar store. You will need a pink marker to go around side your label. You could do black as well. That would work if you don't have pink. You will need some styling gel. Again, you get that at the Dollar Tree store. I put a couple in case I need extra. Some pink paint. This is acrylic, but it doesn't have to be acrylic. Any kind of pink paint will do. You will need something to decorate your bottle. So I did get the same gold silver cording that I've been using on a couple of our potions. It works great for this potion as well. So we got some silver cording. And then anything you want to decorate your bottle with. So I had had this wonderful necklace that I did this first bottle in, but I didn't have two of them. So I thought, well, I could make something myself. So I just been kind of, I had an old chain and I thought, well, what are wax spurts look like? That's what she sees with her glasses. So I kind of put together a fairy with a tree. Maybe that's what a wax spurt looks like. I don't know. And I had this old chain that I kind of cut up and put together so I could do that. Also, I found this wire in the dollar store in the craft section. It's pink wire, I could thread some beads on that and wrap it around. I could also maybe put a little flower on it to decorate, that would look really pretty. You could decorate your bottle any way you want. And then the last thing you need is some pink or red would probably work too, um, food coloring. So let's get started. All right, so my beads, I'm going to dump these right now because I'm going to be using this mixer container and we want to get one of our plastic baggies or if you're lucky enough to have piping bags, piping bags would be great, but I just plastic baggies work great for me. And then as you can see this, I've got actually two different types that I put in there to give me this look. This is just the food color in here. This is the pink paint and then the food color in again on top. So food coloring is first. So I'm going to do that one first. So I need enough for the bottom layer and the top layer. Okay, let's mix it up. I'll speed it up so this doesn't take so long. All right, I think that's good. So what I'm gonna do is put some of the beads in the bottom of my jar. Then we're gonna take the lid off and we're going to be putting in some of our beads at the bottom. So I wanna put some of these, and it really doesn't matter what beads they are. Just find some cute beads that you have around the house or Again, you can, the dollar store has all kinds of fun stuff. So I'm going to use whites 
and pinks and I found these in my dollar store and I, they had some lovely pinks. Walmart's a good place to get beads, thrift stores. Maybe I'll put some of these clear ones in as well. A couple of these. It's gonna give me a variety of different beads. All right, I think that's good. Gives me a nice bottom. Now I'm going to add, and I wanna do it not quite a half. So maybe like a third, make sure this is all mixed up. I'm gonna zip lock it up, and then I will clip the edge with my scissors. makes getting into the bottle so much easier. All right, then I want to move my mixture so I've covered those Beads, and I can bring them up a little bit, pull them to the side so we can see them. This gel is really great. Once you put it where it is, it, that air bubble, it really is good at holding them where they are. So I do love that about these. And like it right there, there we go. So just arrange it the way you want it. All right, now we're going to do our second layer, which we're going to use the same gel, but this time we're gonna add the pink paint to get that creamy look. I think that's good. It's about the consistency I want it. Kind of gives me that cream. Move that out the way. So now we're going to fill up our next layer. So just like I did before, I'm going to cut off the corner. it in.
All right, so now we're going to use the rest of our gel that we mixed earlier to fill up the top. All right, I really like it. I'm thrilled. So, see our jewels, we can see our layers. Very nice. Now remember, yours can be different from mine. It doesn't have to be the same. You can do as many layers as you want. All right, so I'm gonna put on my lid. Ta -da. All right, now I need to put on my label. All right, now remember we want to find our least favorite side. And I think I'm gonna say that's my least favorite side. And that's where I'm gonna put my label. Does that look straight? I think so. Smush it down. All right, I'm almost done. All I need to do now is decorate. Now remember, you can decorate this any way you want. I made this little chain for it. And then I'm going to, actually I think I'll do my rope first. Remember our trick for this? Make a loop, then put it at the back, and you're gonna hold your loop together, and then you're going to wrap it around. All right, we got it nice and tight, and it's in the back. All I need to do now is trim it up. I think I could just leave it right there. I think it looks great, but I did make this little chain for it. Remember, I just took some old jewelry, so you can see maybe if your parents have some old jewelry they don't want. You can use that to decorate. This is a little fairy in a tree. 
because remember she could see the, the wax sparks with her Spectra Spect glasses. Well, with this potion, you should be able to see all the things that Luna sees. So that's it. Very cool. Let me know down in the comments what potions you would like me to make next. Have you got a favorite character you'd like to make a potion for? Uh, maybe some werewolf potions, some wolfsbane, or something else fun, vampire blood, unicorn hair. There's so many different ones we could make. You let me know. Make sure you like the video, and I'll know that you're enjoying doing these Makerspace projects at home. You guys have a wonderful week, and hopefully we'll see you really soon.